Uh, I just stepped out and had a cigarette myself. And uh, yeah, I did. And uh, I had an epiphany and a deja vu all in 20 minutes. Yes, that's weird names for hookers. <laughs> all right, your next comedian coming to the stage. One half of the power group, the undergrads. You can check them out on YouTube. Give it up for my main man, Mr. John Reeves. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? My name's Sean Reeves. Uh, space. <laughs> the next frontier. That echo, you hear that echo? Okay, it's not just me. I'm just kidding. Um, there's gotta be a lot of boobs tonight. Cause I see a lot of necklaces and I need to give them out. So if anyone's interested, <laughs> I'm gonna gear up. <laughs> and I'll probably be the only person who looks like me. And probably the only person who will eat things off your plate when you've left. <laughs> and probably one of the few people who will probably make out with you. So, um, Last time I was in Petersburg, I, um, I ended up making out with a girl who is uh, 10 years older than me, and uh, she had a daughter who was 10 years younger than me. And um, so that's what I know about Petersburg. <laughs> Don't let me down this time. Seriously, I got these. Um, but uh, <laughs> this echo is insane. I feel like I'm way more intoxicated than I am. <laughs> but I'm not, ladies. I don't have whiskey dick yet, so <laughs> that means I can still make out with you. Anyways, um, if you don't know I'm single, big shock, oh my god, he's a hobo. Um, I don't know, I think hobo people can date each other. Um, but the thing is, I, I, I was dating this uh, girl, she was a burn victim, and I was like, show me some skin, baby! And she was like, show me some compassion. <laughs> But I heard she was really hot at one point, so... Uh, I, was, I dated an epileptic girl, too. I took her to the club, and um, the strobe light made her pass out, which was awesome. Because uh, she won a dance contest, and um, I didn't have to waste a roofie that night. It was great. Uh, no, but I, I love strip clubs, I really do. Um, I like seeing naked chicks, hot naked chicks. But I found an alternative where I make money and I still get to see hot naked chicks. Um, I got a job at a nursing home. <laughs> Quick side note. Um, uh, Alzheimer's is nature's roofie. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so my grandmother uh, wrote me a check for Valentine's Day and on the, the letter it said, to John, from Meemaw, love, which was in quotation. And I was like, what the fuck does this mean? And then I opened it up and it was a $10 check. And I was like, God damn it, Meemaw, $50 is love. This sucks. And, um, but she writes me a $10 check a lot. And, uh, her house is foreclosing. And it's probably because of all this check. I'm just kidding, old people are okay. <laughs> if you're old, sorry. You know what, I decided I don't like attractive people. You guys are good. Just kidding, I just made fun of you for not being attractive when you're all very attractive. Especially you. Up front. What's up? Um, all these lights, I'm like having a seizure, the echo. It's like... I don't know if I'm inside or outside. <laughs> oh, I wish that wasn't true. I'm seriously confused. You th you get it too, right, dude? You're having a you're having a good time. Yeah, man. It's the fucking cops. <laughs> yeah, the cops wired these fucking lights, and they're gonna fuck with us. Like, they're gonna smoke us out. They know some of us did some stuff we weren't supposed to do. They're waiting out front. Do you see the? Yo, hey. We're gonna go in and we're gonna set up these lights. And uh, you know what we're gonna do? We'll, we'll get the people who are 
high to go outside because they'll be freaked out. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> that's how smart cops are, everyone. That's how smart they are. Uh, uh, here's an impression I'm working up. It's a, a really dumb serial killer. Officer, I was just eating cereal. Oops, I mean I was cutting up children. That's it to that. It's not really, <laughs> It doesn't really go any further than that. Um, see, this this is this means I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> to me, <laughs> the uh, the mountains aren't blue on here. I'm new at drinking. That didn't make any sense. Okay, I um. All right, so I have a I tell I like to tell people I have a mood ring, and it says that my mood is always horny. But uh, it's just a cock ring, so. <laughs> It's a little big for my finger, but, uh, but I, was at a, I was at a costume party and I was Chandler Bing. Are you, do you guys need any help? You guys good over there? She needs you. Um, I was at a costume party. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm having a seizure. Like, I did a seizure girl one time. Uh, and I had to bring a spoon. I got the spoon from Hardee's because I knew that they were free. Um, I'm just kidding. I, I would never date a girl with a seizure. It's a major turnoff. Uh, okay, so getting back to it, I was at a uh, costume party and I was dressed up as Chandler Bing from Friends. And uh, my girlfriend came up to me and she was wearing a dinosaur costume. And I was like, I thought you said we were going to be friends. And then it hit me. She had dumped me like a month before. <laughs> Sucked. Um, I was mistaken for a girl the other day. I was uh, in a movie theater alone by myself, watching Whip It, with directed by Drew Barrymore, written by Drew Barrymore, starring Ellen Page, and, uh, and I was crying. <laughs> but um, all right. Have you guys ever been jerking off onto an electronic billboard, and it was a picture of a really hot girl? But then, like, right as you come, it turns into a picture of, like, a kid in a wheelchair. And then... And then you... <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> no, but here's advice. If you ever see a guy in a wheelchair, don't tell him you also have a wheelchair that you use exclusively for your large penis. That's just a dick move. All right, um, okay. So, um, I think I think injuries are really sexy on women, like a, you know, a nice club foot or something. Or like a, I mean, I won't date girls with seizures, but like if you have a really nice cast or a pair of crutches, it's really hot. Um, and I think it's because I'm really into robots. And um, that, <laughs> that doesn't go anywhere else. But I just, I don't know. I mean, sex with a, a robot would be pretty cool. Here, yeah, right? Am I right? Like it's just one step, one step away from like a blow up doll, right dude? He wasn't really interested in that. Come on man, you're killing my set. I'm trying to feed off you, we planned this. Oh, by the way, whoever slipped a condom with their phone number in my pocket um, before I came up on stage, I'll be calling you later. Okay, so I guess you weren't intimidated. Um, okay, well anyways, how do we know the world's gonna end? Like in December of um, 2012, right? But you don't know how much something costs on Amazon until you add it to the shopping cart. <laughs> Does, it doesn't make any sense to me. I was, I was complaining about a limeade I bought the other day, and I was, I was like, it's too bitter, it sucks. And I was like, John, you're being a fucking asshole. Like, there's places that don't have lime aids, or like limes at all, but they have a shitload of aids. <laughs> like Africa. I was like, it's pretty a dickhead. But seriously, guys, uh, there are people starving in Africa, and the porn industry insists on putting cocks through pizza and like popcorn buckets, and we need to rectify this wrong. Shit, I just. Oh, I missed the pun. I could have said a rectify. Like a boner. 
I told this girl that she reminded me of a sandwich, and she was like, what do you mean? I was like, you gave me a boner. And then, <laughs> that happened in real life, it's not meant to be a joke. But if it's funny, laugh at me, please, God damn it. God. Fuck you guys, I'm just kidding. I wanna fuck you guys. No, but seriously, like, getting delivered cold pizza is like finding your lover really late in life. Like, at this point, you don't wanna eat it, but you'd probably put your dick in it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, but, um, all right, seriously, I'm serious about, oh, who's, oh, this is just a, that's just something. <laughs> But I was about to do some material about being homeless. Um, I saw this guy with a, a hobo with a sign that said, "Will rock paper scissors for food," and I went to him. I went. <laughs> I went up to him and I was like, "All right, old man, let's do this. Rock paper scissors shoot." And I beat him, and he gave me a meatball sub which I ate. <laughs> and then he stabbed me with scissors. Um, but you know, good motivation to give money to a hobo. Maybe he won't starve today. Bad motivation to give money to a hobo. Maybe he'll throw in a hand job. <laughs> Good motivation to give money to a hobo. Maybe he can shower tonight. Bad motivation to give money to a hobo. Maybe I can shower with him. Seriously, about getting hand jobs from hobos. You don't know where those hands have been. So unless you have like a bottle of hand sanitizer, I'll stay away, guys. I don't know what the deal is down here in Petersburg, but in Richmond. You need, like, something to file off calluses, too. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Um, okay, you're probably like, hey, this guy's a fucking noob with this. It's to prove to you I can read, but I can't read my own writing. So that's... Oh, I gave this black dude a blowjob. That's right. <laughs> and then, um... Then I was feeling sick and I went to the doctor and it turned out I had the black lung. So. <laughs> oh man. I... No, but if you're like me, you don't give a single guy a blowjob. Not a single. Um, you just stick to married men? They, they like to be secretive. Uh, okay. Didn't mean to tell you guys that. I'm embarrassed. Um. <laughs> But seriously, um, I'm just gonna stop saying blacksmith and just say Will Smith. Confuses people less. What? Hey, who's an iron legend? Blacksmith. <laughs> Mimo, don't be a bitch. You know, but seriously, my Mimo, she sucks because she doesn't recycle. And she goes through like a case of like natty a week. And I'm like, don't be such a fucking bitch, Mimo. That's why I hate, that's why I hate my grandmother material. It's new. <laughs> but if you have similar stories, come, come share. Um, seriously, if you have breast, I'll talk to you later. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna get out of here in a minute. But, um, do you guys remember when you were kids and you were in elementary school and you were like, hey, hold your tongue and say apples, and you are like, Motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I always did. Dude, all right, so it's not Christmas time anymore, but I want to share this story because it makes me upset. When I was in elementary school, hey man, seriously. Don't, I know you're not laughing for me, so just, I'm just kidding, I hope you are, dude. I'm gonna give you a hug later, you're so cute. With curl hair, wearing a blue shirt. I'll find you, buddy. <laughs> Yo, are you drinking a Bud Light too? Oh, you're not. Oh, shit. Shit. We, hey, we almost had a connection, but... Are you from Petersburg? Yeah. Uh, that's why... I, I, I don't connect well with people from Petersburg. They just go right... You know, like, whatever happened to, like, personality? People always come to me like, John, I'll get hand job, John, I'll get blow job. Like, fucking chill, dude. I, like, get to know me. Unless you're a bartender here. You guys are cute. You don't have to. 
All right, sorry. Sorry, Jason, if I overstepped my boundaries. Um, all right, so as I was talking, I was in elementary school and I got cast as Santa Claus in the Santa Claus play. And um, my this guy, he's not my friend, he was like, John, you just got cast as Santa Claus because you're the fattest kid in third grade. And I was like, fucking hate you. <laughs> And he was like, you could probably roll the mile faster than you just ran it. <laughs> but then I saw him later and like, he got fat and I'm not that fat anymore. And I was like, fuck you, Will Hanner. <laughs> so, so if you see Will Hanner, tell me, suck my dick. <laughs> fuck you, buddy. God. Oh, nothing, dude. <laughs> All right, um... But anyways, if you think I'm kind of weird, it's probably because um, my breast my my breast milk is pulpy. <laughs> no, my mom's breast milk is pulpy. That makes more sense. I still don't drink orange juice. Um, no, but what I meant to say is, um, when I was a kid, like uh, middle school, you know, I was first like I first could get boners and stuff, like going what's it called puberty, and. Um, my, like, I would practice taking bras off chairs. Like, uh, my mom would sit in chairs and I would take them off her. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, do you guys remember the first time your mom said a cuss word in front of you? What was it? Just shout it out. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. God I, damn it. God damn it. That's borderline. You can say it on the TV. <laughs> what else you got? Cunt. Cunt, yeah. Your mom said that? Like... Pat, quit being such a fucking cunt. Like, yeah, that's like my <laughs> No, like for me, when I was, um, it was a half day, and me and my brother and sister were with my mom, and we were um, on the way to Fuddruckers, and instead of saying Fuddruckers, she said, Rug faggots. <laughs> Thanks, guys, I'm John Reeves. I'm serious about these beads. John Reeves, ladies and gentlemen. It was funny as shit. Come on. Come on. John Reeves right there. Um, so we're at Wabi Sabi. They got crazy shit to eat here. I just had some turtle, but she gave me terrible head. So that's disgusting. Why am I even saying that? Your next comedian coming to the stage, a very, very funny man. One of my good friends, Mr. Andrew Pauly. Hey, Wabi what's up tonight, guys? How you feeling? Good. Good? Right on. Um, I go to a lot of bookstores, and some bookstores are really cool. Because some bookstores, you walk up to the front door, and on the outside of the door, right by the uh, entrance, there's like a rack of books. And there'll be a sign that says something like, these titles, 60% off. And that's what the sign says, but what the bookstore is saying is, fuck it, take one. <laughs> when I was a kid in school, I got really good grades, but I got in trouble a lot. One of my teachers sat me down after class, and she said, Andrew, your problem is you don't take directions. And I looked at her, and I said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> her jaw dropped, and she got silent. And I said, well, at least one of us can take directions. <laughs> you know how you're a kid in school, and you don't have your homework, and your teacher says, hey, where's your homework? And you say, my dog ate it. And they never believe you, right? What I do if you go to culinary school? When I was a kid, I found this kaleidoscope, and I loved this thing. I would stare into it for hours. And one day I lost it, and I was really sad. I went crying to my mom, and I said, hey, mom, I lost my kaleidoscope. And she says, quit crying, I got something for you. And I said, what's this? And she says, it's called acid. <laughs> Now that's your favorite. Thanks, Mom. This morning I read my horoscope, 
and it said, beware of questionable advice given to you based on your birth date. Any convenience stores in the crowd? There's always one. Here's a tip. Uh, if I'm hungover, and you're more than three blocks from my house, you're just a fucking store. <laughs> if you're talking about cocaine, all coke is diet coke. <laughs> I recently quit smoking, but I've got all my lighters and matches around because I haven't completely quit smoking. I quit smoking cigarettes, and I've got all these matches, and I don't like matches, you know, because matches are boring. You open a book of matches and they all look the same. Which I guess is how they got their name. Thank, thank you. I want to revolutionize the match industry. I'm going to start this company called Mismatches. You open up a book of my matches and every, book, every match is different. Like, hey, this match is Tiger Strike. And this match is Polka Dot. And this one's Plaid. And this one looks like a tall, skinny, naked, red-headed guy with no arms. So that's a regular match, but the rest of them are pretty cool. I, I do a lot of comedy, but I, I don't get paid a lot for comedy. Like, at all. And, um, so sometimes I think, hey, if I need to get to a show out of town, I'll hitchhike. But hitchhiking is kind of dangerous, and I'm nervous to do it. So oftentimes I find myself on the side of the road with my thumb out, and then some trucker will stop, and I'll look at him and I'll say, good job. <laughs> you made it all the way from uh, Arkansas without a wreck. Keep up the good work. You get on a commercial airline flight, and there's two pilots, right? There's a pilot and a co-pilot. But every plane has an autopilot function. That's how you get from point A to point B. So if you think about it, the autopilot is the pilot, and the pilot is the co-pilot, and the co-pilot is just some guy with shotgun rights on an airplane. <laughs> Not a bad gig. The other day, or the other night, I was at a bar, and I met a guy, and he told me he was a Navy SEAL. And I said, okay. And he keeps going on about his confirmed kills and his special training. And I said, that's awesome. Can you balance this ball on your nose? Don't look at me like that, there's a fish in it for you. The other day my friend said, hey, what's your favorite animal? And I said, I don't know, I haven't tried them all. Before the invention of the alarm clock, the most common excuse for being late for work was dead rooster. One time I saw a wolf walk up to a sheepdog and say, you fucking sellout. So I had this girlfriend. I don't have her anymore. She asked me to go shopping with her and I almost said no because I hate shopping. But I said yes because I like sex. If we go shopping together and she's trying on her jeans in the dressing room of the store, and she comes back out, she's got a very serious look on her face, she says, be honest with me. Do these make me look fat? I said, no, of course not. But lift one knee as high as you can, and she did. And I said, did you hear that ripping sound? These jeans are obviously a very poor quality. Why don't we try the next size up and see if they're made any better? When I was in high school, I went to the prom, like a lot of people. And all my friends got their dates wrist corsages, and I got my date a car air freshener. And my friend said, hey, why didn't you get her flowers? And I said, because I think this thing smells better, and I'm pretty sure that it lasts longer. So we all get to the dance. My date goes to find some friends. She disappears for a long time. And when I finally catch up with her, she's talking to another guy. She's a little upset. I said, hey, what's going on? And she says, I'm leaving with this dude. 
and I was devastated. I said, why are you leaving with this guy? And she says, because I think he smells better and I'm pretty sure that he lasts longer. <laughs> My friend asked me to go fly a kite in a park. I said, okay. So we take the kite up to the park and we're watching it in the sky. And we see this flock of geese flying south. And my friend says, hey, why are geese always flying in a V formation? The thing is, my friend and I were facing east. I said, that's not a V formation. Those geese are trying to indicate that the sun is greater than your kite. <laughs> so I started dating again, which is awesome. I struck gold. I got a cougar. So I guess I struck silver. <laughs> she's a vintage cougar, she's 86. <laughs> we met at the bingo place and I had on short sleeves so she saw my tattoos and she says, hey, I like your tattoos. And I said, thank you, do you have any? And she said, well, if you play your cards right, you might find out. So six hands of bridge later, we're back at her place. She claps off the lights, goes over to the phonograph to put on some Glenn Miller to set the mood. She shows me her tattoo, it's a dolphin tramp stamp right there. And I said, uh, ma'am, why'd you get a dolphin? And she says, you're gonna find out. So then we're in the bedroom, like we're really getting into it. And at the heat of the moment, I hear this sound, it's like, I said, holy shit, was that the dolphin? She says, no, that's my prosthetic hit. You guys are awesome. Have a good night. Andrew Pauly, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Pauly. Clap. Y'all are awesome. We're having a great night. We got like three or four more TVs for you guys. It's going to be awesome. Um, real quick, um, I'm in a relationship now, as y'all heard earlier, but I, I have dated back in the day. And once I dated a girl with a lazy eye, which was great because she could fish and hunt deer at the same time. But we broke up she's always seeing somebody on the side. <laughs> Ready for your next comedian to come to the stage? Clap. God darn it. Your next comedian come to the stage. A regular Richard Funny Bone, the Fool's Day Comedy Troupe. Get up for my main man, Mr. Corey Marshall. Yeah! <laughs> What's up, y'all good? Yeah! Oh, yeah, that goes in there strong, ain't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, besides that, I love coming here, man. Y'all know how to decorate everything, you know what I mean? Just lights up from Christmas, y'all just left them up. <laughs> Mighty Gras. It's got 4th of July ball opens up in the joint. But that kitchen when you just throw a lock on the door and joint. <laughs> Dick Ripper, y'all can't pass that hole up in the wall. Been there for like two years. Hole's still there. You need to put a picture over the hole. Try that. Y'all doing good? Yeah. Alright, let's give a hand for all the comedians you've seen tonight, man. Get some claim in for throwing it on. I love coming to Petersburg, man. I have a good time here, yeah, boy. <laughs> Petersburg is, you know what? I, I don't know. I had my joke, but them lights just threw me off. It's, <laughs> like, say this, say that, say this, say that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Christmas joint just because. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Last Christmas, my um, my mother, right? I never look forward to her gifts. She got up like 4:30 in the morning just to go shopping on Black Friday. Only place she went to was Goodwill. <laughs> like I thought every day was Black Friday at Goodwill, you know. <laughs> Christmas morning, open up my gift, it's a sweater. Oh, you got me a sweater. What's up? You got me a sweater last year. Matter of fact, you got me the same sweater last year. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. You keep bringing it back. <laughs> the boy, I got some pretty women back there, yeah. They're like Real Housewives of Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> People come in and try to sit next to your homeboy to rescue his joint. Throw his game up. He blew him once you start blowing your nose, though. You just. 
I don't know, but homegirl in the white, she had tissues out too. I don't know. I don't know. You sick? You got a cold? You get know? yeah, I got a jacket. You wanna put it on? You sure? You sure? You ain't got a sniffle, baby? It's alright. Are you single? Yeah. You are? Right. That's what's up. I'm single too. Uh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Did you eat yet? No, forget, forget the comedy. I'm just, you know, you know. Did you eat yet? You did? Okay. I got some, um, all I gotta do is snap my fingers and they, 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 they know what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, usually they bring it out, but. Uh, now nah, I got chicken fritters and, um,. Oh, y'all laughing? Yeah, you knew I had chicken, right? You knew we had chicken. Chicken fritters and um, french fries. You want some? No, what's your name? Tuna. What? <laughs> oh, there's like so much. Shantae. Shantae, how you doing? All right, well, no, there's like so much conversation going on. I, I ain't trying to say nothing, but I thought Medea was over the other time. It's kind of sunshine. It sucked out all the pink in the room. We're just. Alright. <laughs> Shantae, right? Alright, alright, remember that. Alright, so check this out. I am starting to date, like, um, Angie Porter talking about the Cougar joint, right? I am starting to date, you know, I'm trying to, but I'm like attracting older women for, for some reason, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting the Cougars too. But, you know, I'm just like Angie, I'm getting the ones that, you know, I don't really consider them Cougars. Cause I don't think Cougars live that long. <laughs> she's like an aggressive turtle. You know what I mean? She's, just, she's slow. You know? She got like a hard back. She's real soft though. She's cute. That's what it is. Originally, I'm from New York, White Plains, New York. I love Virginia. Um, I just love it. Some of the things that we got that's similar. You all right? Uh, you just. Uh, I'll talk to you too. <laughs> but you were home, but what's your name? I did look at him when I said, what's your name, but that was a mistake, nigga. It was, it was, it was, no homo. Let me throw that out there. You know? No homo rule. You know, you got to use that at times. Like, no homo. That's a stupid rule, though. You know, you can say anything, like, and just say no homo, and people, oh, all right. I'll give you a blowjob. No homo. I'm gay. No homo. What if we use that for, like, certain situations? You know what I'm saying? You walk down the street, somebody gets on your nerves. You just stab them in the neck and they die. I'm like, no murder. I said, no murder, Your Honor. Right after I did it, I didn't do it. But what's your name? Danielle. That's a nice name. Are you from Petersburg? Say again. I thought you said Rich Food. I was like, All right, Prince George. Okay, where are you from? Prince George. Prince George. I didn't have anything. I thought something would magically come, but. <laughs> That's how the nasty magically come, right? No homo. <laughs> huh? He started belching. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. <laughs> God, I hate you, Joe. What happened? You look like Vin Diesel, yo. This like broke down Vin Diesel just at a bar in Petersburg. That's how I wrote. That you ain't wrote it too far. Yeah, I feel broke. Huh? I ain't mad at you. What, what'd you get? Did you eat yet? I ate all, I ate all time. Ago. You ate all time. <laughs> Is that what he said for real? It's a long time. He's a liberal. Oh, okay. Liquid diet. Liquid diet. That's what's up. Do you smoke? Yeah, I seen you out there. You know what I'm saying? They got this. Di hold up. They got this new invention. It's called the e-cigarette. You seen them things? The electronic cigarette. They got them all in the malls and stuff. It's like a plastic tube, right? And the inside it has like condensed nicotine and like a liquid, so when you heat it up, you breathe in the steam. And they say it's less addictive than cigarettes. But isn't that like the same procedure for smoking crack? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine like years down the road, people get addicted to steam all of a sudden? They build a bunch of steam heads running around Petersburg. Steam head breaking your house and still all your teapots. <laughs> you're breaking your car, your radio's there, but your radiator's missing. <laughs> this nigga still my radiator. <laughs> They be arguing over who got the better steam. Don't go to Reggie. <laughs> and they give me tap water. 
I go to the shrimp pump, they eat him. You can always spot a steam head though. They got fresh UV burns on their gums. Their clothes ain't never wrinkled. <laughs> Benefits of doing steam, man. Before I go, man, um, try this joint. Um, he's laughing already. Um, I see what's the name of the show. I just I should have thought about it before I got up here. The show where you gotta do it in a minute. What is it? A minute to win it. A minute to win it. Dang. I'm gonna start that over. I'm gonna go before I go and leave this last joke with y'all. I was watching the show, A Minute to Win It. You gotta check it out, right? They got the people on there, and they gotta do something in a minute, right? And the other day they had, um, I don't remember his name, the guy who went mountain climbing, and he lost his arm. And have you read about that? This guy, he went mountain climbing, if you don't know, he went mountain climbing, and a bullet fell on his arm, got trapped, he couldn't leave out, so what do you think? He had to cut his own arm off to get out, and then. Uh, he was in it like 127 hours or something like that? 127? All right, all right. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all right. And so he was on a minute to win it. And I thought that was so messed up, you know, because he has like one arm, you know? And he has to do stuff that people with two arms can't do, you know what I mean? And it's like a slap in the face to him, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you can mountain climb it. Save your own arm, but you can't get two little balls into a bucket. Ah! That was not as funny as I thought I was going to do. <laughs> but the concept was pretty cool, man, I guess, so. But before I go, I just want to say, um, I got two things. One's Ben Diesel. Stop talking about Diesel. <laughs> when did the next movie coming out? In my fall, man. Huh? In the fall? <laughs> my fault. Oh, all right. No, you good. I ain't mad at you, man. You can be a man. Me and hey. this together, brother. <laughs> yeah. Look out for a brother. I'm trying to be friendly. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, just don't punch me. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I got this new phone. Um, the Android, the Android is acting up. I don't know what's up with it, yo. And especially like on a text message joint, you know how like you put the word in, finish the word for it, everybody knows that. Da da da. The other day, right, funny story. I'm sending my mother a message. I'm sending her, I really miss my crock pot. <laughs> right? I didn't send that though. I looked down and the phone said, I really miss my crack pipe. <laughs> so I sent it to my mother, I'm like, oh snap, you know, how do you correct that? And before I could correct it, she sends back, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and my father, you know, he um he just found out what the letters L O L mean. He thought it meant lots of love. And I'm glad I found that out, because like for a long time, I thought my pops was like a crazy sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? Like he sent me a text message and be like, son, sorry to hear about your divorce. LOL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my time, I'm Corey Marshall. I still got that chicken fairy and fries. Like that, man. Let's give me a hand to Jason Cummings. Corey Marshall! Woo! Corey Marshall! Yeah!